Hi. How's Dan doing? Are they any closer to letting him go? Joking, aren't you? That lying scumbag Josh has only gone and named him as the one who's attacked him. What? But Dan didn't do it. Yeah, we'll try telling that to the police. He's up in front of the beak this afternoon. Will you get us a six-pack of them lockers? Well, stay to my nerves. Wonder I'm not on crack. If Dan is innocent, as you say, they'll soon realise their mistake. The idiot only went and told them that he didn't own a crowbar. What's the bad about that? If you're going to lie, at least hide the evidence. You saw the police found it in five seconds. So if he didn't do it, then, um, then he was about to. Yeah, but the point is, somebody beat him to it. I think I've got a pretty good idea who it was. <laughs> I hope you're not looking at me. Oh, no, of course not. You've probably got David or Jacob to do it for you. I don't know you can live with yourself. I need to put an end to this. Where are you going? I can't let Dan go down for something he didn't do. Oh, so you're going to sacrifice yourself? What about David? Jacob? Don't you care about them? Of course I do! Well, if Dan had given the police the boy's name in the first place, all of this could have been avoided. If you ask me, he's got himself to blame. 